Tony Abbott has rolled out his broadband policy with a promise to build his network faster and cheaper than the government's NBN. But it will also have slower download speeds, leading one internet expert to label it a lemon. Beaming live from Rupert Murdoch's pay TV studios, it's Tony Abbott and Malcolm Turnbull's broadband policy show. It's great to be here at uh, Fox Sports. Not exactly a seamless broadcast Thank duo. Thank God I go yeah. slip over. Good. Well, Mr Abbott vowed to scrap the national broadband network at the last election. This time, he's promising his own version. Our NBN. Which Mr Turnbull says will be delivered... Sooner cheaper and more affordably. But also slower. Using fibre to roadside cabinets and copper wire to houses, the coalition alternative will deliver download speeds of between 25 and 100 megabits per second, compared with the MBN, fibre to the home, up to 1,000 megabits, 10 times faster. It's not a question of what is your headline speed, it is what can you do with it. At $30 billion, it offers a fraction of the MBN speed at two thirds the cost. Overall, the Coalition's policy announced today is a bit of a lemon. Helping roll out fibre today, the Communications Minister agreed. I can't find a dumber piece of public policy than buying the copper of Telstra. A point raised by IT journalists... Just hang on a minute. ..as the policy launch got a bit testy. Just, just if you could model your civility on the rest of the journalists ah, present... Hell no. Yeah. No, but, but, oh, all right. British Telcom OK, we'll take another question later, from someone. You see. By... Convincing voters that sooner, cheaper but a lot slower is better will be even tougher and ensure broadband policy will again be a major election issue. And for more on this, I'm joined now by Sky News political reporter Tom Connell. Tom, is the Coalition's plan, which had been flagged by Malcolm Turnbull, really the horse and buggy plan that the government is calling it? That is the government's claim, Helen. It's all about what internet speeds can do, but also what they're going to be able to do. The Coalition says for what Australia needs right now, for the purposes in particular of most of the people just in their homes, uh, 25 megabits a second is ample speed, more than enough, they say, and that's their minimum. They will get higher, they say. So uh, that's their claim, but the government says what we're doing with internet now is going to improve greatly. They say there's obviously going to be areas such as health and education where fast upload speeds are needed as well, which is obviously uh, even more intensive in terms of how much data is needed. But the government's saying, look, we don't know what we'll be doing with this internet in 10 years, but the area is moving very quickly. And they're using Malcolm Turnbull's own words against him or trying to. They're saying when he first came to the portfolio, he said two and a half megabits would be fine, and he's had to move that up incrementally to say 25 is fine. So they're saying he's already had to move this figure upwards, and he will likely have to do so again in the future. Tom, Tony Abbott has promised a better system, but will voters think it's a better system if it's a slower system rather than the best system we can go for? That's what's going to be up to the voters, Helen, I suppose, one of the key issues at this election. We know broadband played a pretty big part last time round when the coalition took a much smaller policy, $6 billion then, compared to this beefed up plan. So it's, it's about what voters might prefer. We know the coalitions would get fully into place by 2019, but the government's a slightly uh, a more increased or enhanced version by 2021. But it's about that cost. The coalition today trying to make a claim as well about what users would pay, not just the government. We know the government's plan would be about $15 billion more from a governmental cost point of view, but uh, trying to say that uh, there could be a higher end cost for users as well. That's something the government denied today. So a bit of debate within that. But it is going to be up to the users what they're going to uh, prefer in terms of this model and what they might be able to imagine using the internet for. We know that some of the people closest to this industry always push for the highest speeds possible. That's probably not a surprise. So it'll be interesting to see what other people think, I suppose, more of the general population.